so is uh, there's someone else, another man or, or animal. What? To which? There's another man. There are several, but there's one in particular. Wow. Yes. Really? I don't know what more I can say. You should take this like a man, not a poet. You're such a fucking schizophrenic. At least... Stop the car. Will you tell me his name at least? His name doesn't matter. It does to me. You think about things too much. You need to watch yourself. I wrote the last thing I'll probably ever write for you. I'm very apocalyptic. In a place I don't know, but recognize perhaps in the sixth or seventh sense. You exist in the illusory shape of a human form that is not your own. Tenacious, she's a droid. As the same breath of life lays rest to your luscious hair upon my lips. Any relationship, whether it be with a woman or a man, starts with lies. For example, I go out one night and because fate decides it should be so, we meet. And you're attractive to me for whatever those reasons may be, as of course I am to you. So instantly we turn on our personality packages and tell each other a pack of lies. But that's alright, because as this hypothetical fate would have it, we fall in love and forgive each other of the little white lies we were too blind to notice when smitten, which leads us to truth. And if that truth doesn't tear us apart, then let's say we live and love for the rest of our lives. We'll eventually and inevitably encounter the death of love. Keep me swinging. You're leaving me today. You draw me in, I've grown close to you. Maybe I love you. What do you mean by love? I mean, love. love. Extreme attraction, adoration, passionate affection, tunnel visioned enchantment, hopefully with some respect and admiration. Love is a spherical universe whose center is everywhere and whose mm. circumference is nowhere. Whatever that means. What's that supposed to mean? Well, sometimes you talk like a wanker. You're so defenestrative. That's what attracted you to me. Why are you doing this? Why do you pathologically deny things that are special to you? You're not a thing. You're a person. A human being. With emotions and desires that can be crushed and betrayed just like... Like what? I'm not sure. But we had something. Mostly we had sex for five weeks. I've been in a coma longer. Wait. I was a little girl. I nearly drowned in a neighbor's pool. What does the coma say have to do with that relationship? Nothing. I need closure. I was thinking something more along the lines of some superficial condition, like the refusal of a sexual advance here and there.
Shall we fuck one last time? You never liked to call it that before. Let's start now. I figure it's worth a shot. It's a guy thing. <laughs> then kiss me. Lies, love, truth. No. And eternity.